So the treatments were pretty straightforward. Checking in at the desk, being assigned to a treatment room. From there I would go find a locker, put on a gown, then waiting in a waiting room, the radiation technologist would call me in. I would come in, get on the table, and then the treatment took about two minutes. That was all it took. It was very, very simple, very straightforward. At the end of your treatment on your first day, and sometimes we might need to give you new marks during your treatment as well, we do that with Sharpie marker and then we cover them with a clear Band-Aid-like sticker called the Tegeter. I would bring anything that brings you comfort. I always wore a bracelet that kind of was given to me by my family at the beginning of treatment. So anything like that that you can hold on to throughout treatment is important. For some, I know it just made me feel a little bit better. I would regularly bring only my phone and my keys with me into the treatment area. I left all my valuables in my car locked up. Uh, I know some people would bring material to read, newspapers or books, but usually the wait was very, very short and it didn't make a lot of sense to bring too much with me. Each case is different. The time of consult is when we discuss all your medications and that we want to be sure that you're taking all the essential medications at the appropriate times, but if there are any that may interfere with radiation or could potentially even help radiation treatments, we want to be able to uh, discuss that with your care provider and make sure that you're taking them in an appropriate way. Yeah, typically there's no problem driving yourself to and from treatment unless you're taking some kind of medication that makes you drowsy and that you shouldn't be driving on, or if your physician has suggested you don't drive. Yes, you can drive, um, but I would say be mindful and listen to your body. So if you're tired, um, there are resources available to you to get um, to and from the hospital, or if you can bring a family member there, then also take advantage of that. Parking is one of the silver linings of having radiation treatment. It's the best parking lot in the, in the hospital complex. It's free, it's right outside the, the doors of the radiation oncology department. Uh, when you go in uh, the first time, you can park in the parking lot, go into the desk, they will give you a hang tag that you place in your car that is available for you anytime you go in for treatment. So legally, we're not able to help you in the parking lot, but we do have wheelchairs available for you to use. So if you have a family member or a caregiver giving you a ride to your treatment, they're able to help you and get you into the building. So you can bring friends or family to the department with you, but they will have to wait in the waiting area. So when you're called back or when you go ahead and check in, you will go back by yourself, but they can stay out in the main waiting area. And if it is a day that you're scheduled to see a physician, you can bring them back with you. But we try to make it as accommodating as possible. If there are any special needs or such circumstances that come up, obviously we can work with you to make sure that it's as comfortable of an experience as it can be. We do have the ability to draw blood right in the radiation oncology department. Of course, you can also go to the cancer center. Depending on where the blood is being drawn from, you know, if there's a special port or pick line or there's special things that may be necessary, it may be easier to go to the cancer center to go ahead and get that blood drawn. But please just ask our staff and we can direct you accordingly.